For this next DIY, you're going to need a pint glass jar, some ribbon, some of the foam stickers from the Dollar Tree, some gloss red paint. The first thing you're going to do is get your um, heart stickers and spread them out so you can see what all you have. It doesn't matter what color you get, so you can pick big ones, you can pick small ones, you can pick medium sized ones, whatever you'd like, and you just make a little pattern on the opposite side of where they have the, the thing. So like you could do just one big, one medium sized heart, or you could do a big and, and a medium, or you could do a big, a medium, a small, and a big, just however you want to do it. It doesn't matter. These are not going to stay. So, I'm just going to do a different pattern on both jars so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, this one I'm going to put a big heart right here. Make sure it goes down really, really well. Then I'm gonna get a medium size heart and stick it right there. Again, make sure it stays down really well. And then I'm gonna stick this small heart in the middle, just like that, okay? And then I have another jar, I'm gonna do a different pattern. I'm gonna get a big sticker. I'm gonna stick it right in the middle, just like that. And then I'm gonna get okay, stick a small one right there. And then stick another small one. On the other side, just evenly, just like that. So this is one pattern that I have, and then this is another pattern. And you can go all the way around the jar if you'd like, but I just want a small window in the front where you can see. And then I'm gonna come and I'll show you, and I'll spray paint the whole jar. And then we're gonna peel off these stickers and then you will be able to see inside the jar. Okay, now you're gonna take the, the jar, now that you've got the stickers on it, and you just wanna take the lid off and set it to the side, and then place the jar upside down, like I've done this one. Okay, and then kind of space them out. We're gonna spray paint them all red using this spray paint. Okay, now that the paint is all dried on these, you just want to gently peel back the stickers on the jar. Just like that. Okay, so after you get the stickers off, you're just gonna get a chalk paint pen, and I'll link below of where I got these, and you're going to just outline. And some of the ones have some sticky residue I can't get off. So some of them I'm gonna fill in, and some of them I'm gonna leave like this. Like this one's gonna stay like this. But this one has a little bit of residue, so I'm just going to, let me get my pen started. There you go, I'm just gonna, Fill this one in, just like that. So you can't see the residue um, that's still stuck to the bottle. When you're doing DIYs, they don't always turn out like you plan. So when they don't, you just improvise. So these have some residue from the stickers that won't come off which is just fine. 
we will just cover that up. I've got six of these bottles, so I'll have three that are solid. And then three you can see through. So there you go, there's that one. You can't see through. But like this one, you can see through. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I have this tray that I'm going to alternate these, color it in, not color it in, color it in, not color it in. Colored in, not colored in. And then I got all this table spider left over from all my other projects. I'm just gonna spread it around. napkins on the Dollar Tree. I'm going to open those up. Okay. okay. So, I'm just going to wad these up just like that. So, the ones that have openings in them You'll see the napkin coming through instead of the rose stem. After you get the napkins in the bottle, then you want to take this white ribbon with the red hearts and you want to just tie it around and hot glue it to the jar, just like that. And you just want to glue it in the back. So I'm just going to start in the back and go around and then measure. Okay, and then After you measure, you got six jars, so you want to measure the same amount. Okay, once you get them all ready, all cut, you can just put a little hot glue in the back. Just like that. You want to do the same thing for all the jars. Okay, you're gonna get the rose. 
roses and you want to cut off each one of the roses just like that. Okay, now you want to get these Valentine's sticks. I got two packages of those. And you want to arrange them. In with your roses. centerpiece for your coffee table or by your kitchen table or wherever you like to set it. Mine's on the coffee table and I'll just spin it around so you can see all the different angles of this nice cute little valentine jar tray. Get up 